Hey everybody, welcome back. I don't know if this is the last one for the week or whatever, because it's, it's only, um, it's Wednesday today. But if I'm being honest, I, I kind of hit the ground running this week. Maybe like a tiny, <laughs> are we past 30 seconds into the video? Not even close. Well, I'm glad I didn't say it. You never know. This is a loss for us. That's a loss. I don't know why I thought that was going to be a draw. My math was, was not correct. Toss me a fish. I think it, it should probably go without saying this is not my ideal squad right here. My ideal squad would be like five fishes. Because I don't think your early game units really matter all that much. Oh, we're going to win this one. And we, I, we've struggled a little bit in the early game this week. And we've struggled a little bit in the mid game. This is very rare for me. So if you'll allow me to be just very slightly braggadocious. I'm going a little sicko mode here. Look at this. And a, an early rabbit, huh? You got my interest. Ooh, a level and another fish is a just in case me. I This is like one of the only weeklies where I feel like I hit my stride in the late game. Normally, I hold on to tier one units too long. Um, the whole run falls apart. You, I mean, you've seen it a billion times at this point. This week, I feel like we've actually... Uh, we peak late. We try to survive to the late game, and then we try to go off. Now, mind you, with like the same team over and over, but... I'm actually going to say... Wow, the, the rabbit did get buffed, huh? Early on, stats matter a lot. I would say you can do like a sell. Buy, because we want the level next time. Buy. This is a 1-1. One, one. This is a 3-0. This is a 0-1, but you do get the egg perk. I don't think we're that into the egg perk at this stage of the game. I think we like the 3-1. There's something wrong with the human brain. Because 4-4 four, four fish, I was like, whoa, that fish is like medium strength. 7-4 fish, I was like, oh no, this guy sucks. He needs more HP. Uh, and I, I should have... My dromedary in position four. Duly noted. Like, because I see such a gulf between the HP and the attack, I'm like, oh, we've done something wrong. But we haven't. We want our level. Don't really want a whale. I think we want another rabbit. And then keep buffing the fish for a second. And even toss another fish out there. Roll. So right now, the, the path to victory is, is a threat level orange. I don't think our master plan, which right now is larger than average fish, is probably going to get us there. But it's what we've got. And until we get something else, we don't really have much in the way of options. So I think you simmer on this level. You buy an avocado to pop out for next time. You... I think you probably combine rabbits, run combined giraffes, buffing your fish, roll and see what you get. The fish getting to level three is always, it's tough to plan for, but if it happens, it would be nice. The other thing I got to think about, just like logically speaking here, man, that's such a, that, that hurts. I don't think it would have made a difference, but it hurts to be one off killing their big unit. Um... I guess because there's no, like, distributed foods this week. The rabbit doesn't seem as good as I, as I wish that it were. And we're, like, it's... We gotta get moving. The problem is, you're, you're probably like, why do you still have a cockroach? Well, I have a cockroach because it's, like, at least doing something. <laughs> if it, the real question for me is, why do I have a dromedary that's not doing anything? You can at least level next turn. And the, the, really, the whole squad needs to be unwound. The cockroach needs to go. Uh, the giraffe is probably not doing enough. We're losing to capybara teams like crazy. But here's the thing. I didn't get an opportunity to run capybaras. I would love to. I'm, I'm rolling the squads that I was given, brother. I'm, I'm doing what I can with what I got. We're on 2 HP. It's, it, it is hard to say no to a lionfish. I mean, if I'm being honest with you, 
one, if we're thinking long term, one way out of this situation is not croissant, garlic, it was what I was looking for. One way out of this situation is a super buff hippo. The thing is, are we going to get there with the hippo as a 5-8 with garlic? Probably not, but if, even though the I said probably, we gotta try something. Because otherwise, it's just like, it's lights out. We, we have to try to throw the pasta at the wall to see if it sticks, because otherwise the dinner guests are leaving soon. Give me my double level. Take two extra HP and... <laughs> Essentially, we're playing prayer ball right now. It's a horrendous start. Our fish did not get us where we needed it to go. Um, we, we need our hippo to go to the moon. And it actually seems like it, it might moon enough. It mooned enough for us to take a second victory. Keep in mind, we're going to be playing exclusively losers like us who are like on lethal. Okay. A snake is hard to... Take ourselves out of the idea that we we l want this one one from the giraffe. I think we have to though, and and we probably also say, well, you know what I think you do for this one, just because the gold didn't work out. You're not selling the fish yet. I think you gotta sell your rabbit and say thanks for all the the fish. You should buff your snake for now. I don't think the dolphin is is going up another level, but maybe. And then you got a level two. Hippo, this is a 14-15, and we're, we're playing some prayer ball. The math could not have been worse for us there. We are going to lose. The leopard striking our fish is, like, low odds, but it, it, it can happen. <laughs> that one just never really got going, if I'm being honest. We need a little, we need to put some value on higher utility units. How about this? This is interesting. I think one thing we should stop doing in the early game is over-respecting eggs we need to at least make our opponent have the egg in order to beat us we can't just let the threat of the oh, super auto birds we can't just let the threat of the egg allow us to to die and if we lose to pigs or whatever then we lose to pigs if we lose to chinchillas i'll never forgive myself but it is what it is give me a bird and and just pop it down just because i want the i want the distribution of stats to be right and this is like, it's not my ideal setup for the squad. But we, do, we have a level and other level potential. There are tier threes that, that matter more than others. They got my dream team! Okay, we beat them though. Doesn't mean we're going to beat them on the way to 10, but we, we beat them here. Okay, we do have two levels. I would start here. I would definitely add the sheep and then take our level here. And it's another sheep. All things considered, probably like a pretty great pickup. Now, you're just going to have to allow me my, my dalliance here. Normally, you don't run sheep at the front. You don't get opportunities to do it unless maybe you got a whale or something like that. We're going to run it here just because we can. Oh. Oh. Four squad got us killed there. Who would have thought? A second sheep, which means now we should probably have you at the front. And then... You and then you, 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 and then uh, maybe like maybe I'm okay with that. A roll. I really just don't know if I see a, a moth going long term, but maybe to, when we got no better options, maybe it's okay to run, uh, to, to think about a perspective level three moth to help make weaker units trade with stronger units at the front. People are running their strongest units at the front. Maybe we can get some surprises out there. Maybe not, but maybe. Hang on, the good decision alarm is uh, is going off. I made a rare good decision to purchase an item from the food shop. We have none, no, sheep is tier three. I am i don't think that this unit is that amazing, but I love the idea of a bonobo. It gives a one, two buff. Let's freeze this avocado too, just see what we get. Well, honestly, the otters probably serve this purpose. I think we could even run like, 
run a big bonobo at the front and then just try to create like a super sheep. Moth goes up a level. I just, me personally, I don't think we have a spot for the capybara. I know we said last time we wanted one. We buffed the giraffe instead because giraffe is also a tier three. My intention was to stack all of our buffs into the... No! Oh! Uh, was to stack all of our buffs into the chinchilla. Obviously, that's not the way that went down. They got their own lizard here. You got to hand it to them. They, they're, sorry, they got their own lizard, and, and the parrot is a double lizard, is what I was trying to draw attention to. Take your level, because we need it. And honestly, you're gone. And we, we're going to run something like this. Now, the new strat, which also I'm not fully convinced on, is we have a bonobo and our giraffe both buffing our hippo starting next round. Because the hippo's got to be a tier... It's a tier four. And we're obviously... Uh, we're still on tier three in the shop. I don't know why I said obviously. That may not be obvious. It, you can t If you ever want to know what tier the shop is, or maybe you didn't hear this tip ages ago like a lot of people did the face of the dice in the corner tells you the tier of the shop very very handy honestly for a unit like the bonobo this is pretty important i will i'll add a giraffe for now rather than buying an avocado we're pretty close to some levels i i think the squad is not that bad i i'm i'm would rather have a uh a panda feeding our hippo, but that didn't go down in the earlier shops. So we'll we'll take what we got, and what we got is actually doing some good work. And finally, for the first time in a little bit, is not a summon team or an attempted summon team. Level me. I hate that you give to a random friend now. We'll roll like this. I'll probably save you and get you to like. Ah, but it's it honestly. I love your extra attack here, don't get me wrong. But the double bonobo buff for this, which is like the last round that it's available for, is mighty tempting. And I, I basically just bought a giraffe. More than anything else, I'll level with you. It's out of inertia. But the dream for us here would be win this round, which is a maybe a pipe dream, but we'll see. And then use... Um, Use the leveled up Bonobo to get like a, an incredible tier six, of course, would be nice. And now I'm realizing like I'm not going to have the gold to do all this, but <laughs> doesn't all have to happen right at once, I suppose. Um, level up the Bonobo, get an awesome tier six, and then buy a good tier five that allows the Bonobo to give the stats to something useful. You also want to level the Hippo, of course. We probably have enough HP to try it. I mean, this is crazy good. Now, the Bonobo is buffing nothing. So, I personally think we actually reworked the squad to try to run a dragon team. And I think it'll look like selling a baboon, buying a dragon, which does nothing for us yet. And then next round, probably selling the giraffe to have a spot for tier ones. Because I feel like the sheep... It's, it just provides us enough utility for me to be excited about. But I, I love the squad we got going here. Even if the tiger dies, which I, I wish that it didn't, obviously. But is it? And everybody uh, that's on the opposing side is just going to see that we got Big Hippo. And they're going to be like, Big Hippo, how creative. You didn't see the blood, sweat, and the tears that went into this, okay? I think with focusing on 10 wins... Being efficient with your gold is very important. That's basically some... It's one free reroll, as we've talked about a few times in the past. And we sell this, and we buy this. Now, I would like to have a crocodile on the squad. It's probably, admittedly, more valuable than a sheep. Okay. Don't let, don't let the sunk cost get you down there. It would be very nice for me, too, to have a dragon level up to level two, but we got we got a ways to go. The squad? Your, what, what's wrong with your squad? I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just like, you don't, you don't have any units. I guess you would look at my squad and be like, you don't have any units, but that's before the hippomania runs uh, wild on you. 
Obviously, this will be important. We don't have to pop it out just yet, though. We have to be efficient with our resources. And honestly, the most efficient resource you can get, maybe. You, you should obviously go and have a crocodile out here. No, you know what? I'm rolling the sheep. Forget it. Buy an avocado. It's basically one free reroll next turn. Give me out. Buy me. Sell me. Buy me. And then move you to the back. So you're the crocodile snipe. Not 100% confident. But I do feel like we, we match up well against a lot of teams right now. And th those snipes don't really matter too much. The snake does matter. Turns out the snake does not matter. That feels great. I mean, it's literally just a big hippo, but it still feels good. A snake is obviously good. We, I don't think we really have a use for tomato the way we're running the team here. We definitely do have a use for tiger. And chicken is kind of like, it synergizes with dragon, but it's not... <laughs> I'm not fully convinced that it's that it's not too much. Let's put it that way. And I bought the avocado because we get extra gold next. It's it's just efficient. And I think using our gold efficiently when we're on a buy-sell team is, is of the utmost importance. Okay, we'll tend to match up well against summon teams. Just need to keep the HP as high as possible. That helps. They, I mean, like, none of their units are going to be that strong. So we're, we're going to be building up our stats quite nicely. And I'm sorry to Brian F. I've been on the other side of this before. When you, Here's the thing. When you lose to Big Hippo, you say, oh, all they had to do was build Big Hippo. When I lose to the summon team, I say, oh, you got a turkey. Congratulations. Like, we're, you know, we're our own worst enemies. We're so rude to each other. Sell on this one. Buy on this one. Don't really need a, a, a parrot on the team. I would rather just use my rolls here. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Sheesh. I mean, this is, it's, we're coming into round 14. I, uh, round 14, I think we got a good squad. I think we got a team we could be proud of. I'm not guaranteeing that we're going we're gonna to win or anything like that. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm calling it like I see it right now. And I got to be honest, I, I did not expect my sheep to do this much. And then it did. It did. What a great weekly. Holy cow. Okay, I got I got one more in me as long as it doesn't take more than 18 minutes because obviously I got to go pick up my daughter from daycare. Obvious, I don't know why I said obviously. It doesn't make any sense. Let's just run the squad we were given here. I think we could do worse than that. We got to level up potential. It'd be like a wishy-washy ab. It's like something someone who didn't know English idioms might say he had wishy-washy abs instead of washboard abs. Just think about it. And an early win. That's, that's rare and very welcomed. We take. And I think we take. We like it like this. Most important thing here is the level. And that we're going to be at full HP. And that we got a win, which doesn't always happen in the, in the early game. Ooh, the greatest purchase of all time. The, where the good food purchase alarm is going off again. And we got two trophies. That never happens. Two trophies early. Extremely rare. I don't think the meerkat is any good. Um, but I'm going to buy it just because it showed up on the level and because I haven't used it prior to this. So I think there's, I wouldn't say there's much to it, but maybe there's something to it. And I guess I'm going to give a dromedary an egg just in the hopes that it, it helps it out a little bit here. We don't really, it's only round three. I wouldn't cry about our squad right now. It's just a little bit unusual. It probably, I'm, I'm realizing now, we're going to draw, which is nice. It probably makes the most sense for the mongoose or the meerkat to be in the middle because it can then give stats to units that otherwise would not have gotten stats from the moth. We're, we don't want to put all our eggs in one basket. I think a lizard makes some sense here. I mean, honestly, like a panda kind of makes some sense. 
But it's it's a very weird way to set it up. I don't know how exactly it's gonna work, but I'm worried. Like you, no, it should be okay. We would definitely like to get another panda or another lizard. We spent nine gold this turn. Well, okay. Again, it is what it is. It's just I'm I'm just theory crafty. We we've gotten enough ten pieces this week. Of course, I would love to add another one, but um. At the same time, I'm also just sort of like, I'm. let's see if there was another path in the early game here. Because this is what the shop presented to us. We're, we're taking the path of least resistance, which is weird because it's the new path. Normally, the, the road less traveled is more difficult. But, okay, maybe we actually want you to get your stats buffed. So then, oh, orangutan would buff meerkat. <laughs> um... We really don't care to see the meerkat buffed. Like, it's it's so bad, dude. But if we... It, or not orangutan, sorry, baboon. But it, baboon otherwise would be buffing nothing. I think instead we're just gonna... Just gonna send it like that. Level 2 panda might be enough to make a lizard pop a little bit. And we're really, I mean, we're, we're keeping the panda warm until, like, some kind of, uh, like, a better unit shows up. Crocodile did it for us last time. Holy cow. It's a, it's a, a tier three panda. I think you take that toot sweet. I don't think you worry too You know what? Wait, while we're here, let's do it. it. It could be weird. But really, like, if a, a hippo is the dream. Don't. Let me shoot first. Let me shoot first. Thank you. It's still not great, but it's something. I think we lose this one. It's a well-constructed team. It's a well-oiled machine here. We shouldn't... Did I buy the meerkat or did I freeze it? I froze it. Okay, that's redeemable. <laughs> buy me? Garlic me? Now I'm starting to think. What Beluga can be great. It it certainly beats the pants off a of meerkat at least, and we can move you back. Even though like it seems to make sense more sense to have the bee in the back. I still think it matters most. Don't really want you to spit out a sheep, so we're just we're in a holding pattern here. I still think it matters most that the panda gives stats to the lizard. The lizard does have garlic. The lizard gets some upshot. But the, the Beluga is a great moth receiver right now. It worked. We had just enough in the tank. And we got a flex space. The dromedary can go to fit something like... Don't shoot the messenger, but like to fit a turkey. Because <laughs> that's what this squad is like built for right now. Now the bonobo would buff a turkey. Sorry, the baboon, not bonobo. Would buff a turkey. Next round. This round, it would buff freaking nothing. Is that worth a sell buy? I'm gonna say no. You could call me as crazy as you want for this one. He, you're like, he's way too into the avocado. I think you might be right. But we're, we're making space for an inevitable pivot and maximizing the efficiency of our gold in the interim period. Holy cow, the numbers, Mason. Oh. <laughs> it didn't work. But it almost worked. And perhaps more importantly, it wouldn't have worked with the dromedary either. So I feel slightly vindicated. You know what would have been nice at any point is another lizard. But alas. It's really hard to imagine the swordfish popping, man. You are a fainting pet. You're not a fainting pet. Crocodile goes crazy. For now, let's just pop it out. And you know what we can do? Check this out. Buff the crocodile with the panda. I know you're like, what, but this guy has garlic? Yeah, but check this out. Because now the crocodile is going to have melon armor. 
which is not as good against um, summon squads, but it is something. And listen, there's the hippo. They laid dollars short, buddy. You, you don't show up when we order appetizers. Hey, did anybody get me uh, onion rings? You know I love onion rings. Hey, if you loved onion rings so much, then you should have shown up when we told you to show up, okay? Oh, it was late. There was tra There's always traffic, brother. Listen, you always do this. So no, no, you can, you can order onion rings after you sit down at the table, okay? I don't want to order onion rings because you'll be eating my onion rings when you guys are already on your entrees. We got places to be. That's why we said we'd be here for happy hour, not show up for a dinner reservation at 8.30 p.m., okay? It makes me sick. I don't think we pivot to Vulture, but we can definitely pivot off of the Lizard now. There's nothing holding us here. Fly would be nice if we had turkey. I'm going to keep you frozen for a second. Lizard? Yeah, yeah. D don't make me do the rant, Lizard. You had your chance. I don't mind throwing a deer out here, but it's a little bit too perspective to throw a deer out here and, and assume that it's going to do anything for you. So I'm, I'm buying an avocado. I know it's a little spicy. It's a little crazy. It's a little creamy. It's a little bit like eating green peanut butter, but it is what it is. I'm not worried about my moth. You, you, you let me worry about your moth. This is horrendous. Now see, they, they got multiple lizards. And that's very upsetting for me. Because I wanted to have a level 2 lizard. The game said no. It said you can't do that. We have no turkey. We have no incoming level. I'm scared. You know what we should have done a long time ago? Is buff our panda. <laughs> not yet. I'm not, I'm not there yet. You have to go, but it has to be for the... It has to give me something. Level 2 turtle? That's essentially meaningless in the, in the, in the modern workaday world. So forget the level 2 beluga right here. And instead, we are going to toss out... I'll tell you something crazy. We're going to toss out this deer. We are. Okay. They do want big beluga in the deep blue sea. I don't think this one's good. I, I, I think we just didn't buff our... Uh, we didn't buff our... The unit that had to be buffed fast enough. We're lucky to come away with a win there. Honestly, we're lucky they bought a moose thinking it would buff their best unit when instead it buffed their worst. But that's, that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm going to choose to ignore the ostrich for now. The thing is, okay, I'm going to put the deer here. If we live through this round, it's quite possible we could have a beluga that spits out a level 3 deer, which would then spit out a level 3 bus. But that re what a shot. It requires us to live through this round first, which is going to happen. And then it requires us to get that level three beluga, preferably via chocolate, because that also counts as eating a food. So we need that to happen. Otherwise, we should just stack it up here, probably. But we don't want any of this. Take a tomato. Now, he could buy two deers here. We could have a level two deer out there right now. You know what? As soon as the words left my mouth, I was like, yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> now, what is interesting is the idea of, like, selling a moth and then having a tiger right here. What would this do? The, then pushing the croc and the panda back. The deer dies. It does the tomato. It dies. It spits out a level two. Okay. Then the... You die, the beluga dies, it spits out one turtle. Not a big deal. Okay, but in theory, if all the pieces get into place, we could have a level... If the beluga eats a deer, we could then have a level three deer get spat out that spits out a level three and a level one bus, which may make no difference. Or it may make all that it doesn't matter because we just lost anyway. But 
If we hadn't lost, imagine what that would have looked like. <laughs> Either way, thanks for watching. It's been a good weekly this week. I don't know if we're doing more this week, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!